Hello everyone, it's me, Michael, and I'm taking a look at the Triceratops pickup truck ambush set. It retails for $40 in the US, has 210 pieces, and I do believe it is a Walmart exclusive. I should have stated that about the last set I reviewed, but I didn't, so sorry. But let's get into this. So the minifigure selection here is a little bit plain, but I like them. First up, I love guys like this because you could just use them around the city. They can be thugs and stuff. Like, you see those Jurassic World guards I have? Those things have appeared in a few stop motions. They're just generic thugs to get the beat down by my Lego Batman, okay? I just... Dang. I just, I just love simple minifigures like this. You can use them anywhere. They're awesome. Uh, none of the prints are exclusive. You could switch them out and whatnot. Uh, but then we have the actual exclusive May figures, and surprisingly enough, LEGO went through the trouble to put two different torsos on them. First up is Franklin, and the second one is Claire. Pretty good stuff. Alternate face. The face looks okay for Claire, but for Franklin... Yeah, he's actually a character I thought was decent. That's a great alternate face. Yeah, just too good made it into the video. Right there. <laughs> Let's move on. Here's why you actually came to buy this set. The dinosaur, of course. A Triceratops. You know, I've never had a Triceratops before. But dang, I love it. Love it. That head is something else. You can fit a bar through its mouth here and... Interestingly enough, they do have some food for it, like you saw when I covered the minifigures. Yep, fits. You could just take it right away. That's funny. And funny. You can articulate the legs, and it can get into some pretty good positions. Like, you got none of the trouble you have with making it walk and run, like with T-Rexes and stuff. Yeah, this thing got four legs. The, um, the head articulates. The tail has no articulation, but you do have the option of fitting up to two minifigures on here. That'd be some pretty good stuff. I also like the scratches on here, but they do look a little bit too cartoonish. I don't know, like those don't really, I get what they're supposed to be, but they don't really fulfill that role too well of being scratches, but let's move on. In recent memory, LEGO has managed to create the most contrived ATVs and force them into the most ridiculous of sets. But here, this is a mighty fine ATV. See, th this is what every man wants to drive around in. You got seat a seat for not just one minifigure, but two. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Like, this is a luxury ride right here. See, like, too many figures. Balances well. Rolls around fine. That's all I want to see. Now for the actual car itself. Oh, uh, I like it a lot. Like, you could put it on a city street, right? I think. It's like eight wide. Eh. One thing I just don't like is all these colors. You got all sorts of tans and reds and nougats and browns and stuff. And I just really think that they should have kept it to being a simple black truck, but it has way too many colors on it. Rolls around like any truck you would expect. It's very simple. Um, you can see this little light over here. It's like a floodlight. You'll wonder how a minifigure is supposed to get out from this side. There's no opening doors, which isn't necessary, but like, come on. Like, like this thing, it, this thing is getting in the way unless you lift it up manually. And sometimes it likes to pop off. On the inside, there's a seat for one minifigure. They don't need, they don't even include a seat. It's just it's just space for a minifigure. 
and you could put some accessories in there but i think what where you're really meant to put the accessories is in the back here and you could fit some minifigures in here like this could fit like two or, or three minifigures like let, let's just see for the for the sake of space let's see how many minifigures i could fit in here Um, yeah, two. So I could fit three main figures in total in here. That's fantastic. Or cargo. That's great. This is why I want to see space. But this has one big action feature that I really love about this. So you take your dyno, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You take your dyno, and you ram it into the front end. The hood pops off, and... I found it works pretty consistently. Maybe sometimes you could unalign it, but I don't think it's going to scratch your dyno or anything. Man, I hate this light, how it pops off, but putting it back on, super easy. And maybe it's hard to see, but you could see some red and white there, and I don't like that. But dang, that is a cool action feature. All right, not much to talk about here. Literally, the most interesting thing is this yellow syringe. And I'm pleased to report there's no stickers. While I don't hate stickers, I love to see LEGO take the initiative of adding detail in with bricks or prints. And they have uh, accomplished that. Yes. Well, this set retails for $40 US. Not the worst price especially by jurassic world standards especially by 2022 standards like my god if this was a star wars set this thing would be 60 70 dollars but nope is the price here good nope like i would seriously consider holding off until this goes for like 30 dollars because while you do get a medium Dino, kind of large. Um, I would say just hold off on buying this one. Uh, I like the ATV. Like, it can hold two minifigures, and this can hold three minifigures. Plus, that action feature, pretty good. Like, that, that works well. And it works pretty consistently. I don't have much to complain about this set. It's just the price, and... My god, does this did it really need this big light that pops off so easily? Um But besides and too many colors on this, just too many little accents peeking through. Like, do I really want to see red on this set? This is like a foot away from the camera and yet you can see the red very clearly. So I think it's good, just wait for it to go for thirty dollars. I'm aware big specialized animal new prints and stuff yeah that will add some value and four minifigures in a set like this dang that that's fantastic but overall be sure to tell me what you think i really like this one it's just a bit plain looking um coolest thing is that triceratops of course um but yeah be sure to tell me what you think like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye